iOS versus Android, Xbox versus PlayStation, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. That's right, today's topic is on the same level as all of them. We're talking about e-readers versus books. Let's get ready to rumble. What's up everybody? My name is Luis and today's topic is one for the books, both electronic and paperback. With consumers getting a little bit more tech savvy as the days pass, it's only natural that e-readers would start to compete with regular books. E-readers have grown in popularity over the last few years, and books have been written since we found out they're more accessible than caves. However, both have their advantages and disadvantages, so let's start with the e-reader. I own the Amazon Kindle which comes in at around $90, however, I got it on sale for around $60, and at $60, that's definitely a steal. E-readers use e-ink, which is very close to looking like ordinary ink, and it takes a lot of the strain out of your eyes that you'd get from using something like a tablet to read. This makes the experience much more enjoyable and gives you the chance to read for hours without irritation. The display is glare-free, making it easy to read even in direct sunlight. Also, the most recent update of the base Kindle brought a backlight, so this is probably your best choice for reading in the dark. No more table lamps or book lights. The Kindle is very compact, being only 6.4 inches tall and 4.4 inches wide. Since it's small, you'd probably guess that it's very light, making it very portable, and portability is probably one of the biggest selling points for this device. Each e-reader has its own store depending on where you buy it from. So for example, since I bought mine from Amazon, I can get onto my device, open up the store, and buy any book that's been optimized for the Kindle. No more having to search the shelves just to find out that I need to go to another bookstore because ebooks never go out of stock. That's a win. The disadvantage of an e-reader is that you have to charge it. However, it doesn't take a lot of power to light the display. It's not like you're reading text in HDR. So, my Kindle usually lasts me about two weeks to a month depending on how much I use it. That's it for e-readers though. So now, let's move on to books. They come in many different sizes. Covers can be anything from brilliant to bizarre, colorful to bland, and sometimes they're just a profile pic. People love books for a totally different reason than e-readers. For instance, used books have like a sort of history behind them. Like when you get assigned that workbook in school and you get to check the front and see who else signed out that workbook in the last few years. Or whenever you pick up that nonfiction book and you see that every single inspirational or motivational quote is underlined or quoted, which makes you wonder if it actually changed someone's life. People act in many different ways when it comes to books. For instance, some will stare at it like it's Picasso painting, some will hold it like it's a newborn baby, and some will place their hands all over it like it's about to fade out of existence. Or maybe some people will just, you know, not care about their books. Yeah, I don't care about that book. Anyways, people love books for tons of reasons. However, it tends to be a little bit more of a personal experience. Some people think that nothing compares to the sensation of opening a new book. So letting that personal experience dwindle down to something like unlocking your phone just isn't in the cards for them. Put simply, the experience of owning your books physically and electronically are very different, and everybody's going to have their own preference. However, I tend to like them both, and I think that they both win this debate. So let me know what you think. Which do you prefer? To me, my Kindle is the best for when I'm on the go, but when it comes to my favorite books, I have to have a physical copy. But that's it for the video today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and be safe.